Hi kids, welcome back to Movement Church Online. I am so glad that you are able to join us in this Sunday morning. Today, we're going to learn more about God's Word so that you and I could understand what God wants us to do in His life. So, get excited, grab a snack, and let's get started. What? Whoa! Hello, everybody! Hello! Oh, look! It's the Mimibi machine! But, 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 it's... Uh oh it's all in pieces! I know I can fix it! I will use the claw! But you got to help me know where to put each piece. Okay, let's start with this pink thing here. Okay, whoa, careful, careful, easy. There it goes, okay. Now, kids, help me, where do I put it? Where do I put it? Oh, does it go here? No? Okay, how about over here? No, maybe, oh, hold on, the joystick's broken, hold on. Oh, what? Oh, oh, you're right, yay! Good job, okay, next thing. Now, let's get the blue binoculars. Okay, where do we put them? Oh, let's put them up here. No, nope, nothing to sit on. Oh, out of here? No, here? Tell me. Oh, I think you're right. Yay, they fit. Good job, everybody. Okay, now, next, the giant spaghetti ball thing. Let's lift it. Careful. Oh, it's heavy. Careful, careful. Where do I put it? On the, over here? Maybe in the middle. No? On the blue thing? No? The pink? No. Oh! Let's put it right on top! Yay! You're right! Good job, everybody! Okay, one more thing! Let's get the spinny circle! Here we go! Pick it up! Okay, move it! Move it! No! Here? Up here? No? Oh, I, I see that! No! Definitely not there! How about the... How about there? Yay! Oh, here we go! Uh-oh! Oh, that, that wasn't right! That blew everything up! Okay, let's try it again! Okay, starting with the pink thing. Here we go! Lower! Lower! And we got it! Okay, here we go! Now, move it! Oh, no! No, here we go! Here? What about here? What do you think? Look for the shapes! I think it's a circle, no? Oh, here we go! You're right! Yay! Good job, kids! Okay, next thing. Let's go for the blue binoculars. Ready? Pick it up. Okay. The little but no, nope, nothing to sit on there. How about here? There? What do you think? Oh. Yay! Good job, kids! Yay! Back for the giant spaghetti ball! And pick it up. This is, this is definitely, uh, to the left. No, to the right. Oh, I don't know my left or right. Hold on. Move it over here. What do you think? Tell me, kids. I don't know. Up here? You think? Okay. Yay! Good job, everybody. Good job. Okay. There it goes. The spinning circle. Now, I know where this goes. It's definitely over here. No. Up, up at here? Here? Down here? No, it's definitely not that. Down here? Okay, here we go! Whoop, we blew up again. Okay. We're going to try again. Here comes the claw. Okay. And now it's going to lower. Here we go. Easy does it. Some of these things are fragile. Okay. There we go. Up. And what do you think? Over here? What do you think? Here? No? Okay, how about in the circle? No? No? What about over here? You're right! Yay! Okay. Now, next, let's go back for the red binoculars. I just kidding, they're blue. Like me. No, wait, I'm green. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Find the right shape. Okay. Up here? No, no. Up over here? No. What do you think, kids? Tell me. Down here? You are right! Good job! Okay, giant spaghetti ball helmet, here we go! Up, now tell me where you think it fits, look for the shapes. Over here, no, okay. What do you think, here, no? Oh, I think you're right, yay! Okay, last thing, we are not going to blow up the machine this time, here we go. Pick it up, tell me. 
Where to put a spinning circle? Over here? What? Let's try it. Okay, I think maybe... Oh, good job, kids. You are right. The Mimobi machine is working. So now let's count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, spaghetti! Here we go! Party time! Hi, kids. Welcome back. You know, today for the worship, we have a very special friend joining us to sing together. Do you know who it is? It is Charlotte! Charlotte, do you want to say hi to our friends? Hi! Hi everyone! So today, we are going to be singing a very, very familiar song. And it is What a Beautiful Name. So if you know this song, I want you to raise your hand. Charlotte, will you help us to worship God? Show us how to worship? Is that good? If it is good, if you agree, come on, give me a thumbs up. Like that. So good. So, yeah. let's start.
Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. How good was that? Come on, you deserve a hand clap. And I'll give you some hand clap. And we are now about to watch the Bible story. So don't go anywhere. And let's enjoy. Israel was under the reign of a wicked king named Ahab. He and his wife Jezebel did not follow the one true God. In fact, they actually built up altars to a false god named Baal and led the nation to worship this false god. The Bible described Ahab as the most evil king that had ever ruled in Israel. At this same time, God raised up a prophet named Elijah, who he would use to punish the wicked king. One day, God's Spirit led Elijah to pray that God would stop the rain in Israel for three long years. This would cause all of the crops in Israel to dry up, making them run out of food. After Elijah told Ahab there would be no more rain in Israel, God told Elijah to leave where he was and go hide out by a small brook called Cherith. Once there, he would send ravens carrying bread and meat to him for food, and he could drink the clean water from the brook. Elijah did as God had said and made his way to the brook called Cherith to hide out. Just as God had promised, ravens came to Elijah to deliver him food every morning and every evening, for as long as he stayed there. Elijah trusted God would do what he promised, and God was able to supply all of his needs. Just like Elijah, we can trust that God will provide for us too, even if he has to send a bird to do it. The End how crazy was that Bible story? I mean, imagine if birds were able to deliver food like that to us today. We wouldn't even have to boss around our siblings to make us go get food. I mean, we could just be chilling on the couch, watching TV, and suddenly birds fly in and drop off some McDonald's for us. How amazing would that be? Quick, if you could have birds deliver you any food right now, what would it be? Oh, that sounds delicious. I wish that could bring me that too. <laughs> you know, kids, the birds delivering food were really cool, but I don't even think that's the coolest part about the story. But it was the fact that God protected Elijah before the drought even started. Before the world even knew that they were in trouble, God had a plan to protect Elijah and set that in motion. There's a lot of characters like that in the Bible, like Noah. If you don't remember, Noah was the one that built the huge boat and protected his family and all the animals from the giant flood. God was able to tell Noah to build that boat before the world even flooded. How cool is that to know that God has a plan for your life and he's there to protect you before you even know trouble is coming. All we have to do is choose to follow God and listen to God's word to listen to what we need to do for him to protect us. Kids, God has a plan for your life. And even though he knows bad things are gonna come, he already knows what he needs to do to keep you protected. So we don't have to be scared of all those things. You might be scared of having bad dreams at night. I know I used to get bad dreams all the time and would always make my parents pray for me before I go to bed. But God knows you're gonna go through those things and he gives you loving parents to protect you from that. Just like we trust our parents, we need to trust God too. I mean, do you worry about who's gonna cook the food for you? Or do you worry about where the money's gonna come from in your house? Or who's gonna drive you to your friend's house? Probably not, right? You just trust that your parents are going to do that for you. It's the same thing with God, kids. All we have to do is trust that he's going to provide for you and everything will be all right in the end. We just need to trust God the same way that we trust our parents. Let's take a look at our Bible verse today. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. Let's take a look at that one more time. It's Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. 
All right, kids, did you learn something today? Tell your mom what you just learned right now, go. You better have said something just now. I hope you learned something. Don't be afraid, kids, because God's got a wonderful plan for your life. And before we go, before we pray, I want to play a quick round of scissors, paper, rock with you. Ready? All right, we're going to go on go. We'll do best out of three. But before we start, I want you to make a plan in your head. What are you going to do? How are you going to beat me? Make a strategy. Think about it. All right, ready? Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. Scissors, paper, rock. All right, how did you do, kids? Did you win? Did you beat me? Next time you see me around, you'll have to tell me whether you won or not. All right, quickly, let's pray, and then we can go off and have a fantastic day. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for today. Thank you for the plans you have in our lives, Lord, that you're there to protect us and to guide us and to lead us, Lord God. Thank you for our Bible story. Thank you for our parents for always keeping us safe and providing for us, Lord God. And thank you that we don't have to be scared of anything in life, Lord, because you are there to protect us before we even know that we are in trouble. I thank you for our brothers and sisters, Lord God, for everyone in our lives. And I pray that you would just keep us all safe right now, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, kids, have a blessed day. I'll see you later. Bye.